Hi people, um, this video will be how to divide decimal numbers and we're going to use long division here. We're not going to use a calculator as much as a calculator would make this very quick and easy. Um, we've got to show it this way, okay? Because some of you will be asked in school to do it the long division way. So let's try that right here. Here we have 3.75 in the first question divided by 25. So I'm going to write it down right here. This is question A. Um, 3.75 divided by, that's the division sign, 25. And when you see a question like this, this is also called a divisor bar, just in case you didn't know that. Um, I know it just looks like a fraction, but really that is a divisor bar. Okay, so we're now going to solve this puppy. Now, what you do with questions like this when you're doing it with long division is you take the decimal right here and you move it up right directly above where it is right now. Okay, just to keep that nice and neat. And we're, hmm, I'm going to use a different color here. Okay, so 25 times what would be 3? It would be 25 times 0 would be 3. And so 25 times 0 is just 0. Sorry, someone was at the door and I may have said something wrong there. I apologize. 3 minus 0 is 3. And then we bring down the 7. Okay, 25 times what would be 37? Well, 25 times 1 is 25. 25 times 2 is 50. That's too big. So we'll just stick with the 1 there. 25 times 1 is 25. Now remember, we subtract these. So 7 minus 5 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. Now we bring down the next number, which is the 5. And you may know from experience that 25 times 5 is going to be 125. 125. 25 times 5 is 125. You subtract those two. We are done this question. The only thing is it says to round to one decimal place. Okay, so our final answer would be 0. Point, and if you round to one decimal place, that means this 1 right here is the one that could change. Does it stay the same or become a 2? It becomes a 2. Why? Because there's a 5 right beside it, right here. Okay, so it's 0. 0.2. That is our final answer for this question. And um, if you're not sure how to round off, make sure you check out the video I made on how to round numbers. Okay? the next question. Now we're going to do B. Now here's something that I want to show you. 3.2 is on the bottom. So we have this number divided by 3.2. If we were to multiply both of these numbers by the exact same thing, you're allowed to do that with fractions. Okay? So if I multiplied the bottom by 10, I would get 32. And if I multiplied the top by 10, I would get 219.84. Sometimes it's nice to, when you're dividing, to not have to deal with a decimal number in the very front. So I'm multiplying the bottom by 10. I'm just choosing to do that. And I'm going to do the same thing to the top. That would make it 219.84. When you multiply something by 10, it moves the decimal over one place to the right. And that's exactly what happened here. Okay. So, 32, how many times can 32 go into 219? Well, let's think about that off to the side here. I'll use a different color. Let's see. 32, let's make a guess. 32 times 3 would be close to 100. So, let's try like a 6. What's 32 times 6? 6 times 3 is 18, 19, 192. You know, 192 is pretty close to 219. I think if I went 32 times 7, we'd have too big of a number. Ooh, we don't. 22, 21, 22. Oh, it's just too big, just a little bit too big. So we're going to stick with this 6 here, OK, people? We, we need a number just below 219. This one's too big. 224 is too big. So we're going to go with 6. OK? Remember the decimal goes right above the other decimal right here. 32 times 6 is 192. Here, I'll put that in green just to make this look a little nicer this time. 
And then we subtract these two. 9 minus 2 is 7. 1 minus 9, well, we have to carry over from here. Take away 1 from there. So we get 27. 9. Okay, 11 minus 9 is 2. I hope you guys saw that. Again, that's another video. I'm assuming you've already seen how to do that before. Take down an 8. And now we need 32 times something is 278. Well, none of these two work. We need a number bigger than that. Let's try an 8. 32 times 8. What's that? 256. And just to make sure, let's go 32 times 9. Okay, so we're going to have to use 8 right here because that's just below the 278. Okay, so we're going to use the 8 right here. And what is 32 times 8? 256. Subtract. 5, 6, 7. We get 22. Let's bring down one more. Oh, guys, look at this. And gals. 224. Look at here, it's 224. So we know 32 times 7. I should do that in red just to keep things the same. 32 times 7 is going to be 224, meaning we are done this question. No, no remainder. So the answer is 6.87. We're supposed to round it off. So if we were to round this final answer off, the answer would be 6 point... Would the 8 stay an 8 or would it become a 9? You are right. You look to the right, the 7 is powerful enough to make this become a 9. The answer would be 6.9. Okay? 6.9 would be our final answer. Sorry for the mess. Let's keep going. Last question. Once again, I don't like that there's a decimal on the bottom here. So I'm going to multiply the bottom not by 10, because that would only move it one place. I'm going to multiply the bottom by 100, and that moves the decimal over two places to the right. I'm going to do the same thing on the top. So let's write this out. So for question C, we have 35 out here, because we multiplied that by 100. And we're going to go 176. Point four. We moved the decimal over two places. I hope I said that enough times so that you know what's going on. We take this number now, divide it by 35. Okay, let's do it. Hmm, 35 cannot go into 17, so 35 into 176. We have to make some guesses here again. Uh, let's try, I'm just going to guess, 3, 4, 5. Let's try 5. 25. 15, 17, oh my goodness, look at that. That was a good guess. I get lucky sometimes. Don't forget the decimal right above the other decimal, just like we did before. 5 times 35 is 175. Well, that's easy to subtract. The answer is 1. Bring down the 4. 35 goes into 14 0 times. Make sure you put a 0 there. Okay, 0 times 35 is 0. Oops, I should really put that in green. If you subtract those, you still get that. Now let's bring down another number, because we don't want a remainder of 14 here. We want the, this question should look nice at the end. It's a math question that was created for us to get a good answer. So you can put a zero on the end here after a decimal, and it doesn't make a difference. But if we bring the zero down here, as we, as we do, 35 times something, hopefully, is going to be 140. Hmm. Let's try 35 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. 12, 13, 14. Hooray! We just got what we were looking for. 35 times... Sorry, that should be in red. 4 is 140. And if you subtract those two, you get zero. We're done the question. The only thing is we're supposed to round to one decimal place. One decimal place is right here. Is that zero going to stay a zero or become a one? It's going to actually stay there. So the answer, if you're rounding to one decimal place, is just 5.0. All right? That's because we rounded. Hopefully you now know how to round. No, sorry. Now you, Hopefully now you know how to divide a decimal number. And sorry for the mess. I know it wasn't pretty. Thank you.